today's video, I'm going to teach you how to visualize to actually get results. That's right, if visualization is something that you've struggled with, or if you'd really like to ramp up your power in visualization, then today I'm going to show you one very, very simple approach that you can take. A little mindset shift, but one that has the power not just to release you into the fullness of visualization, but visualization that actually works to manifest those things, those dreams, desires, and all the outcomes that you want to attract into your world. My name's Ben, welcome to Elevate. Let's kick on into it. Welcome back to the channel, folks. I'm so glad you've joined me for another video on Elevate today. Please do subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and share the video around because that's going to help others find it too. And do come back again tomorrow or check the back catalog of videos on the channel here because I post each and every day, 365 days a year. I've also got a private coaching group. There's a link in the description below if you want to check that out. But on to today's topic, and we're talking about how to become a powerhouse at visualizing. You know, visualizing has so many approaches, so many applications, and so many uses. Oftentimes, we can use visualization to lift our vibration. When we're feeling down, when we're feeling low, when we're feeling depressed, sad, anxious, stressed out about something, we can harness the power of visualization to snap us out of that and to help us align with high vibrational energy again. You know, if you're feeling down and you cast your memory back to a great family day you had at the beach or a wonderful experience you had with your partner or how fulfilling your role as a parent is or a great conversation you had with a terrific friend a little while ago, it can immediately and instantly begin to lift your vibration, begin to pull you out of the doldrums that you've found yourself in. That's fantastic. But folks, the real benefit to visualization is its use in being able to pull forward the things that we want to manifest into our world. All the things that we desire, that we seek to attract, whether it's the love of another, whether it's career aspirations, a new home or car or vacation, starting a family of your own, whatever it is that you seek to manifest, that you wish to attract into your world and have as part of your reality, you can access it through visualization. And we know that the law of attraction decrees that we will manifest what we are in harmonious vibrational alignment with. So when we want to manifest love, it's not going to come to us if our vibration is that of hate, of disrespect. If we want wealth, riches, abundance, money to manifest into our world, it will never come if the vibration that we are operating at says, I never have enough money, I'm always broke, how come I can't afford the things that I want? I'll never be able to afford that. I'll never be able to get out of this situation. But if you can lift your vibration, and if you can come into harmonious vibrational alignment with what you want to manifest, if you can feel the feelings of that thing right now, if you can access the feelings of that love, if you can access the feelings of the wealth, then the universe will manifest it to you. Your subconscious mind will set about bringing to you an experience that validates the belief you hold so entrenched in your subconscious. And that new belief, instead of I never have enough money, I'm always broke, is money and wealth comes to me in abundance. There's no stopping it. Even if I wanted to try, I couldn't stop at the rate of money that comes at me. The way we can access this, the way we can shift our vibration, 
and come into that alignment that is so required to manifest that thing is through the power of visualization. When we visualize and we visualize correctly, it allows us to access the feelings of those things. You've heard me share this story before if you've been on this channel for long enough now. But there was a chap who was involved with NASA in the space program in one of the Apollo moon missions. And he went on to become a trainer for the US Olympic track team during the 1980s. And he used some of the visualization techniques that they used with the astronauts who manned the Apollo moon mission. So they hooked the athletes up to all sorts of scanning and monitoring equipment and then they would run through guided visualizations of the race with the athlete. Ready, set, go, you're off and racing, starter gun's gone off, and an incredible thing happens. All of the muscles in the body that require to run that race begin triggering off. The mind doesn't know that the body is not actually in the race. The visualization is done correctly and it's done powerfully and it's done in a way where the mind thinks the body is physically having the experience and begins to trigger the muscles that are required to sustain that experience. This is why visualization and correct visualization is so powerful to pull us into alignment with the vibrational energy of that which we seek to manifest. When you can visualize so powerfully, so intensely, that you can feel the feelings of love of that relationship you want to manifest. You can feel what it's like driving down the road in your brand new sports car. You can smell that new car smell. You can feel what it's like to walk down the beach on your round the world vacation, to sit in your new office, to have your new career. When you can feel it, that's when you are aligning your vibrational energy with it. And that's when the universe will set about delivering that thing to you. So how do we visualize with this much power? Well, folks, one thing I've always encouraged people to do when they come to me for counseling and for coaching and mentoring is to employ a trick that I've used for years. I came up with this years ago and it's worked brilliantly in my walk and in the walks of those around me who I've shared it with. It's called Movie Theatre Visualisation. You may have heard me discuss this in minor detail on various videos over the channel. But Movie Theatre Visualisation is simply a way that we can harness our mind, that we can bring it into alignment, that we can rein it in, stop it darting all over the place and stop all those various thoughts coming into our mind and being intrusive when we're trying to visualise and we can actually begin to see this work. So it's a very simple process. It's only a couple of steps. The first thing to be able to use movie theatre visualisation is to find a peaceful, quiet, still place to sit down and only for a few minutes. Don't drag this thing out. Rule number one, don't drag it out. Don't sit down and think you're going to be there for 15 minutes in solid visualisation because Folks, you'll just disappoint yourself if that's your expectation going in. We're all humans. We all have a human mind. And we know what it's like when we're trying to meditate or visualize. And thoughts come and go and race all over the place. So find a quiet and peaceful place. Decide going in that when those thoughts do come into your mind and race all over the place, looking for like energy, trying to coax you into following that thought pattern, Understand that we just observe it, we don't engage. There's no interaction with those thoughts. Just observe them, and if you don't feed them what they're looking for, if you don't feed them your energy, they will find the exit door of your mind very quickly. So sit down, be still, be quiet. Focus on your breathing, breathe deeply and slowly, even for a few minutes. Observe your thoughts, don't engage with them. And then with your eyes closed, Imagine looking down from above into a movie cinema, into a movie theater, and it's completely empty except one seat, the best seat in the house. And that's where you're sitting and you see yourself sitting there. And your vision changes, it comes off you 
and you look up to the screen and what is playing on the screen is exactly what you seek to manifest. What is playing on the screen are scenes from the movie of your life once that thing has manifested. This is like you looking into the future. What does it look like? What are you doing with that partner? Where are you going on that vacation? What are you doing in the day-to-day -day world of running your new company or business? Where are you going on your first family vacation with your brand new baby? Watch that movie. Watch different scenes of it. See the interaction. Begin writing the script for it in your mind. And just sit there and observe yourself in third person watching the movie on the big screen of what you seek to manifest. This is movie theatre visualisation. Pretend you're watching what you want to see on a movie screen. Just focus on that even for a few minutes. And the intensity and the power that that brings will bring your energy field into alignment. When you begin to smell the new car, when you feel the goosebumps and you feel the hair on the back of your neck stand up and you get all tingly, that's when you know you're accessing the frequency of your manifestation. That's how you visualize with the movie theater technique. So if you've struggled with visualization or if you want to ramp up the intensity and the power that your visualization has to actually manifest into your world what you seek, then see yourself from above in a movie theater. Look up and watch yourself in third person. This is key here because it speaks to duality. We come at this with awareness and mindfulness. What's mindfulness? Third person, no judgment. It's not good, it's not bad, there's no judgment, it just is. Watch yourself watching that movie on the big screen in that theater. Watch those scenes play out. Write down the scripts of them. You can move into scripting, writing the scripts that you've seen. And folks, that thing is sure to manifest. It's sure to bring your vibrational energy field up and into alignment with all of your dreams, and you'll see them come to pass. Folks, it's a universal truth. It's a principle foundational to our universe. It must happen. Where there is alignment, there is manifestation. So get out there and get visualizing and get in alignment with your dreams. Now, don't forget, reach out below. There's a link if you want to join my counseling group. Please do subscribe to the channel and share it around. That's going to help so much. But from me for today, that's all I've got. So I hope you've enjoyed your time here. I hope this has blessed you and encouraged you and has given you something that you can actually go away and implement in your life and get a result with. Why don't you come back tomorrow for more great teaching? My name's Ben, this has been Elevate. I love you. See you tomorrow. Peace.